Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. What up, guys? Matt here, Country Songs Teacher. Hope you're doing well, guys. Some big things in your life. I know. I don't know when you're watching this video, but I want to say Happy Thanksgiving. I'm super, super thankful for each and every one of you all. If you've commented on a video, you've shared a video, you bought something, a songbook or something, or just just whatever, guys. If you subscribe to this channel, I can't tell you enough how much I appreciate you. So I want to I want to do that even more than Thanksgiving. But with Thanksgiving around here, I definitely want to tell you guys and gals thanks so much for amazing channel you've given me like i said I, you all give me more support than i ever give you so thanks so much got a cool little song here for he played what wednesday let's see we'll have a little d7 i like that little chord if you're i'm gonna do my regular four chords g c e minor and d if you're new to my channel what i do with these chords i lock in the two bottom strings with my ring finger on the second string pinky finger and bottom string fifth and sixth so on the g chords strum all six a C chord, just simply slide your top two fingers down, strum the bottom five, E minor, press the fifth and fourth, all six, the D chord, the third string. So it makes the transitions very easy when you can lock in those two bottom strings because you're just moving your two main fingers. With your hand, usually these two fingers work the best. So when you can stabilize your guitar and just move these two fingers, you're gonna be good. But there's one more chord. This D7 is a fun little kind of mysterious chord. It's the second string of the first fret and the third and bottom string of the second fret. Show the bottom four. So on the like, little chorus, um, kind of starts out the D7. Do you remember when we used to sing? So that one starts out with the D7 there. What's cool, again, you can see how easy. See how easy the movements are between that G, C, and D chord? You can lock in that G, then move your fingers down. Back to G, just up. Move the first finger to that third string. The chords will be very easy. But again, you start out with that um, D7. But for the verses, so it's going to go G, C, G, D. G, C, G, D. Back and forth until that last little part. So it goes up. Hey, where did we go? Days when the rain came. Down in the hollow. Playing a new game. Laughing at a runner. Hey, hey. Skipping and jumping. So forth. So it's gonna be a fun little song to play. If you play acoustic guitar, this is a great one that kind of add in your little gig bag, so to speak. Right? That's where I'm, who's my editor? Gig, not gig bag. Uh, playlist. That's what I was looking for. Playlist. Cut that out. Thanks. Sometimes for new to my channel, I have to fire my editing team, light and video, hair and makeup, production. I've been known to fire my staff at different times. So anyway. Um. So as far as strumming. Hey, where did we go? It kind of strum, strum, and then linger until the chord change. So, hey, where did we go? Days when the rain came down in the hollow. See, I'm kind of a little, kind of like almost like a half or three quarter strum, a full strum, and then linger. So, hey, where did we go? Days when the rain came down in the hollow. Before you go to that second verse, you go to that D7. Again, D7 is the second, third, and bottom. Do the second verse the same as the first verse. <coughs> and the chorus is going to be on that D7. So just keep on pounding away until that G chord on the word sing. All the 
chords gonna be kind of the same and your strumming patterns is kind of the same where you get that kind of half or three quarter strum, full strum, and then linger. We used to sing. Sha -la 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 -la. Doing that too from that G to D chord, all you gotta do is take that first finger. You can even leave your middle finger up on this top string, just take your first finger down the third string. Now, like two, and I have to linger on a D chord. I'll kind of, as I strum, take my finger on off that third string. Gives what's called musical dimension, spices up a little bit. So. Real fast too, while I don't know when you're watching this, but guys, this Friday, that was that the, the um, what would it be, the 25th, November 25th, this Friday, my Christmas songbook comes out. 20 my, mass 20 Christmas favorites. So be sure to go to Country Song Teacher and check that out. So this Friday, the Christmas book comes out. Maybe you're watching this, you know, I'm mad. Christmas is already over. I don't know, but if you're watching it before Christmas, be sure to check out. I think it's gonna be my best selling item yet at CountrySongTeacher.com, my Christmas book. All right, guys, it's a good little jam there for Heat Play. What? Wednesday? I'm going to get back at it. I'm finishing a couple of things on my book uh, that's going to be, really, like I said, released this Friday. And I'll send it out in newsletter and all the kind of fun stuff about it. But in the meantime, check out Country Song Teacher. All one word. I'm having trouble hearing you. What? My iPad has a mind of its own. It says I'm having trouble hearing you. You're not supposed to be hearing me, iPad. Anyway, let's check out CountrySongTeacher.com. Um, CountrySongTeacher.com. That's right. And I song, got four chord song books, strumming DVDs, all that good stuff. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe if you haven't already. Probably y'all have already subscribed. Um, and smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. YouTube's like, should I push this video or not? And they see how many people smash the like button. Then they decide, yeah, I should probably push it. So be sure to do that. And follow me on Instagram at Country Song Teacher. Until next time, see y'all later. Happy Thanksgiving. God bless you.